Shalom Aleichem everybody, hope all is well. We see a lot of things happening in the world. We see wars going on. We see a lot of intense events. The economy is in a very scary situation to say the least. But, what is the answer? What's the solution to this? Let me tell you, it's not a new economic plan. It's also not a new peace proposal at the UN. The answer to this, my friends, is the Mashiach. The world itself is a place where God wants to express himself. The world right now is not in its complete state. The whole reason why God created the world in the beginning was for there to be a giloi elokus, for Hashem to be open and revealed and felt throughout the world. But what happened when Adam and Eve sinned in the Garden of Eden, the godly divine presence retreated upwards. Meaning God himself is still here, infinite, beyond infinitely. And there's nothing else in the world besides God. And the fact that every object is here is because God at every moment speaks existence into creation. At every moment. However, what happened when Adam and Eve sinned is that God's presence became hidden. The fact that God is the one controlling the world is something that is hidden. And then a few generations later was Avram, Abraham, who discovered God and connected the world to God in a more intellectual and emotional revealed way. Meaning, it, God didn't become totally hidden after Adam and Eve sinned. However, he became at first glance hidden and, through the, and we have to search for him to feel him. Whereas before that, it was an automatic experience. Then, a few generations after that, was Moses and the Torah was given. And now we don't have to, as much, use our own efforts to search for God, but the, but the tools are in front of us through Torah and mitzvahs and through acts of kindness. This is how we can find God. So, all of these aspects are a blueprint in order to bring the world back to the state where God is completely open and revealed without any effort. However, there's something added to this, is that we will not just go back to the way the world was before the sin of Adam and Eve, where God was open and revealed, but rather we know that every descent is for the purpose of a higher ascent. The Yeridah Letzorach Aliyah, which means the going down is to bring you up higher. So, when God becomes open and revealed again in the days of Mashiach, it will be far greater than even that of which Adam and Eve experienced, and even greater than the prophecy of Moses, where the pleasure, it says an or, it's called an organus, a light that God revealed in the beginning. He took that light and then he hid it and he's storing it away for the days of Mashiach. And this light, of course, is this experience will be any pleasure that we can imagine in this world will be nothing compared to the days of Mashiach. To understand this even better in the book of Derech Mitzvah Secha by the fourth, the third Rebbe of Chabad, the Rebbe of the Tzemach Tzedek explains that all pleasures experienced in this world altogether are nothing compared to even the slightest moment in the lowest level of the Garden of Eden. And we know that there are an infinite level of gardens in Eden, each level being infinitely greater pleasure than the one under it. But yet, these levels are, are, are of no comparison, can't even be compared to the pleasure that we will experience in the days of Mashiach. We're going to feel the pleasure that God feels when we do a mitzvah. When God, when we serve God, it causes God a tremendous pleasure. That is what God's going to share with us. He's going to share with us the pleasure He feels when we serve Him. May Hashem bless you all. May we experience this today. Please share this message. Please support the Torah channel. Please like, comment, subscribe. And you can donate to the Torah channel. You can sponsor a video from the Torah channel. Please, if you're interested in sponsoring a video, you can email me. And if you want to just support the Torah channel, you can support in the link below. May Hashem bless you all. May we see the days of Mashiach today.